Hey, Josh, can you talk about growing up and uh, your World Series dreams then and, and how you're uh, looking forward to this, to them becoming reality? I mean, yeah, growing up in Texas, this is pretty cool, pretty special. Um, that, that ALCS was pretty cool, too. Um, I mean, it's always been a dream of mine to play in the World Series, uh, to potentially win a World Series. Um, to be doing it my rookie year, to have a chance to do it, it's pretty crazy. Um, the dynamic of the team from last year to this year, just crazy. Um, don't really know how to put it all into words. Um, still kind of surreal. Still have those like, hey, pinch me kind of things. But um, but we're here and we're ready to do it. So, so when this team was losing 102 games a couple years ago, you were getting your foot healthy and all this stuff. But were you thinking, man, I'm with it team that lost 102 games? <clears throat> um, I wasn't really thinking that, um, but I, it was more of like the vision that, that, you know, the front office and um, CY and, you know, the staff has had. Um, they kept pressing it. They kept talking about it. Hey, we're going to win a World Series. We're going to win a World Series. Um, and to be doing that this fast is crazy, but you just see how <clears throat> the ownership's commitment to winning CY's commitment to winning, bringing in the staff they do. Staff's really good. Um, then the caliber of players they've brought in as well. I mean, our clubhouse is rocking. Um, we just got a bunch of good guys in there. Um, the talent speaks for itself, but the type and quality of guys that we have in the locker room, I think, is really what um, has kept us together and going, especially with the ups and downs all year. Uh, you mentioned the, you know, basically the mantra, you know, we're going to win a World Series. And that's been repeated. It's been a part of basically every little piece of the plan. As a guy who uh, takes seriously the, the mental side of the game, uh, how much of that do you think is sort of uh, instrumental in the fact that you guys have gotten this far? I mean, see why I'm saying it for, you know, almost two years now. It just sticks in the back of your head. Good times, bad times. Um, just the positive reinforcement, I think, helps everybody tremendously. Um, and even, you know, we had those rough stretches there toward the end of the season. He's still saying he believes in us, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's instrumental. Um, it's huge for the club. It's huge for the guys. Just that positive reinforcement, I think, especially from your GM. Um, there's nothing better than that because ultimately that's the guy that brings you onto this club. Um, and when he's that positive, especially in the dark days, I mean, it means everything. Is it coincidence that you guys are whatever you are on the road in this postseason? Coming off of that last road trip, or did something during that last road trip, maybe the last game or the last two days, have some impact on why you guys have played so well on the road in the playoffs? I wish I had an answer for you, truly. Um, I mean, that last road trip sucked. Um, going into Seattle, needing, you know, we had our, our own destiny was in our own hands. Um, and it was tough. It was rough for us, um, especially losing the division the last day of the season when we lost to Seattle one nothing. That was tough. Um, then basically fly legitimately across the country to play Tampa. I mean, I don't know what, what switched or what turned on. Um, but it was just this mentality that we were kind of playing hero ball at Seattle. Everybody thought that each at bat was going to probably, I guess, say it. We put too much emphasis on each at bat, um, trying to play hero ball. And that's where you've seen in this postseason, it's just pass the baton to the next guy. Have the best at bat you can, the next guy's going to do it. We're not worried about being the hero when we step in the box. We just want to have the best at bat we can. Um, stick to the game plan and just kind of go from there. Had you ever seen Corey Seager show as much emotion as he did after his homer? Um, it comes out in big games like that. Um, you know, I think that really pumped all of us up because he doesn't show a bunch of emotion. And to see our guy do that in that moment, I think everybody was like, Oh, yeah, we're going to do this thing. What um, else have you learned or appreciated about being his teammate this year? 
I mean, he, he brings that even keeledness that we all strive to have. I think he's the ultimate example of that. Um, the clubhouse leader that he is, the leader on the field that he is, he doesn't have to say a whole lot, and you know he's got your back regardless. Um, there's not enough words to describe the impact he's had on all of us individually, let alone the club. Um, but I'm just really glad I get to stand on the same side of the infield with him. Two for you here, Josh. Uh, one, Corey's won a World Series in this building, was the MVP. Have you talked to him about the process you go through and taking it in and being able to play in something in such a high pressure situation? Um, having a legit dialogue conversation about it, no, but I think it's the presence that he brings in those moments that kind of teaches all of us how to go through it, uh, especially in that game seven. I mean, if you walked in our locker room, you wouldn't have been able to tell that it was a game seven, that it was the biggest game of the year, quote unquote, at that moment. Everyone's playing cards, everybody's having fun. Um, music's going, everybody's going about their routine just at, as they had day one of the season. Um, and I, I do think that comes from our veterans that have been through it, that their routine doesn't change, so why does ours, basically? Um, so I think it's kind of just Corey doing his thing and all of us follow him. And this uh, last question for you, for the fans, what do you want them to bring game one? <laughs> um, all the energy. I mean, this is the f the first time we're playing in a World Series in this ballpark. Um, it's the first time this club's been here since 11 uh, in this spot. Um, just bring the noise. I mean, the fans can be an element in a game. Um, and, you know, you take all the help you can get at this point. Hey, I just want to go back to what I asked you a minute ago about the road. Um, could you guys be here in this situation without having done it the hard way, without having gone through what you went through? I mean, I'd want to say yes, but I don't know. I mean, I feel like that's where great stories are made is, you know, we could have won the division and been at home for those five days. And, you know, I mean, you see how it played out for the Dodgers, the Braves, all those teams. Um, that five days off isn't always a good thing. But for us to go into Tampa to kind of find that momentum go play a really good Baltimore team, continue that momentum, um, and then ultimately got to play our, our rival, our in-state rival, um, to find that momentum again, especially after they dominated us here at home, uh, especially with the way that game three ended. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, I think that's led to all of this. So this is the most baseball you've ever played in one season. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not a shot at your injuries. Uh, how are you feeling at this point, and what's what's keeping you going? I'd say I'm probably the freshest out of everyone on our club because I got that uh, six-week break there um, toward the end. So my body's feeling good. Um, but I think at this point in the year, everybody's dealing with something. Um, but, I mean, when those lights turn on, when you're four games away from winning a World Series, nobody's thinking about those things. It's just how can they go out there and get their job done? Josh. You are from Texas. Did you watch the World Series 2010, 2011? Do you remember something? I uh, remember the heartbreak. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty much watched the World Series every year, and one club wins, one club loses. Um, and then in 10 and 11, you know, those were pretty heartbreaking for um, for Texas. And um, hopefully, we can be on the other side of that this time. Hey, Josh, when you think back to August, getting hurt and being out while this team was really struggling, how hard was that? And then to be at this moment now, how can you put that into perspective? A whirlwind of emotions. When, we're, when the team was struggling, I was hurt. That really sucked because I wanted to try and contribute any way I could. Um, but I really couldn't leave the training room, just dealing with that, trying to get through that. To be where we are now, um, after all that, it's crazy. Truly, I mean, this season's been a roller coaster, um, probably for everyone. Even even people that have covered us all year, I'm sure it's been crazy. But um, we're in this position. We're in a good spot. Um, just trying to go out there and win four.